Can we skip our opponent's turn with Photon Time Stop? Thanks to 10XPZ for the suggestion, and I'll explain as we go, so let's check out... Game 1! Well, we have it in our opening hand. Photon Time Stop. It can be used to search an archetypal continuous spell or trap, which, while cool, is not why we're playing the card. Its second effect is much more interesting. If it gets destroyed by an opponent's card effect while we control Galaxy Eyes, you can make it become the end phase, effectively Uno skipping their turn altogether. But how can we reliably trigger it? It's not like we can just give them a Feather Duster and hope for the best. Well, I guess we could do that, but I have a better plan this time. We just need to draw into some better cards to help us get there. So let's trade in one of these Galaxy Eyes and draw Photon Orbital and Galaxy Soldier. That should work. First, let's pitch the second copy of Galaxy Eyes to summon Soldier and activate it to grab another copy from our deck. Now we can equip it with Photon Orbital from our hand and use its effect to pick up Photon Jumper. Man, his helmet is giving me some major Bloodborne vibes. Anyway, when this guy is sent to the graveyard, he searches a Galaxy or Photon spell trap from our deck. So discard him for the second soldier and grab a copy of Numbers Last Hope. This card special summons two monsters with the same level from our grave and then instantly exceeds summons for a number monster. Since we have two Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons in grave, that will meet the requirements for Photon Time Stop since we have to either control Galaxy Eyes or an exceeds monster that has it as material. I uh, definitely forgot about that requirement a few times while I was getting footage. But anyway, let's look at how we're going to trigger the time stop on our opponent's turn. Since we have two level fives, we can build the overlay network and summon Artifact Durendal. This guy was featured in my windup video a while back for his ability to shuffle away the opponent's hand. But today we're using his second ability. When the opponent activates a card, he can change that effect into a Mystical Space Typhoon, forcing the opponent to destroy a spell trap instead. And since we're just modifying the opponent's card, it still counts as their effect destroying and activating the time stop. Now we can use Numbers Last Hope to exceed summon number 90 and set our cards before passing turn. Our opponent draws and they play... Impermanence. No, I think that looks more like an MST. They play a couple of pearly spells in response, and we can activate Photon Lord's ability to search for our Galaxy Trance while they summon a couple of... I was gonna say dogs, but they're really just merchandising opportunities. Merchandising! Where the real money from the movie is made! <laughs> well, we did stop our opponent's turn, so how do you feel about that opponent? It's my turn! It is- you told me it was my turn! Oh, you're ending your turn already? I would have thought you would do a little more, but if you insist. Let's overlay for full armor, destroy a pearly, and detach galaxy eyes just to get him in the grave. And we might as well go for some big numbers while we're at it, so overlay again for Cypher Blade and destroy their last monster before activating Galaxy Trance. This card lets us summon a Photon Monster from our grave and a Galaxy Monster from our deck, so we can Xyz summon Number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. By detaching a material, we can increase its attack by 200 for every Xyz rank on the field. To make it even better, by detaching Afterglow, we can attach another Galaxy Eyes from our deck and double Prime Photon's attack, dealing a whopping 16,000 damage and winning the game. Wow, that went about as well as it could, but what happens when we don't get to go first? Game 2. We're on the draw in Game 2, and my opponent sets up a pretty standard Sword Soul board before passing turn. My draw, and... They shotgun a maxi. Luckily, we have Called by the Grave, which they try to negate with Baron, but I guess we have all the answers this game. We can activate Droplet, sending both Called and the Photon Jumper in our hand to the graveyard, negating both of their monsters and stopping the bugs. What a blowout. And since Jumper was sent to the graveyard, we can add our one copy of Galaxy 100, and that should let us win the game here. Let's play it to send Photon Emperor to the graveyard, which will then summon itself and give us an additional normal summon. Now we can bring out Summoner and... Sorry, but you are still negated, friend. Anyway, bring back Jumper and use Orbital to search Galaxy Wizard. Next, we can overlay for Galaxy Photon, which can then search for Galaxy Expedition. If we control a level 5 or higher Galaxy Monster, we can summon another one from our deck. Now we could probably keep going, but let's go ahead and finish this game. 
Activate Galaxy Expo to summon Afterglow and overlay twice for Chaos number 62. Neo Prime Photon is a boss monster and a half. He's immune to monster effects and can make multiple attacks during the battle phase. To top it off, when we detach Afterglow, its attack will skyrocket up to 12,000, which we can use to swing in for the win. Game 3 Alright, let's use Rota to max C again, <laughs> and no negation for it this time. But theoretically, if we can end the opponent's turn before they can play anything, it shouldn't matter how many cards they have, right? Challenge accepted, opponent. You've already seen the combo, so I'll go through this one a bit quicker. Let's use Rota to search for Photon Jumper, pitch it to Galaxy Soldier to search Galaxy Summoner, and Galaxy Expo. We can use Photon Orbital to pick up Emperor and do one of my favorite combos. Trade in the Emperor to draw two cards while simultaneously triggering its effect to summon itself and also granting an additional normal summon. <laughs> now we can bring out Summoner, which will revive Jumper so we can overlay for Galaxy Photon, which will then search for our Photon Time Stop. Let's play the Expo to bring out another Soldier, tribute our other two monsters for Galaxy Eyes, and finally Xyz Summon for Durendal. Not the most amazing route or anything, but our Time Stop is now live. What do you have in that hand, opponent? Sinet Kodak, huh? This is a continuous spell, so we technically can't activate Durendal yet, because the card has to be a normal spell trap or a monster on the field. Sinet Mining will absolutely work, though. Let's activate Durendal, and you say Sinet Mining, I say Mystical Space Typhoon. We get to end their turn, and you're, uh, asking a lot out of that Dotscaper friend. <laughs> they even have to discard the hand size. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Well, let's use this second Galaxy Expedition to summon Afterglow, overlay for both Prime Photons, and attack for the game. There are a number of 3-4 card combos we can use to get into Photon Time Stop and Artifact Durendal on turn 1. It isn't the most consistent, but since we're playing a real deck this time and not just a pile of cards designed to swap life points or give the opponent Exodia, it doesn't feel nearly as bad when we can't snag the Time Stop win, since we can just play the game normally. Honestly, the worst part about this deck is that we're only running one copy of Galaxy 100. Since it's a continuous spell, we can't have it on board if we go for the Photon Time Stop play, since our opponent could just choose to destroy it instead of our trap. Otherwise, it really doesn't look that different from a normal Galaxy Eyes build. But that's gonna d Oh, you want one more? I guess we can check out... Bonus Game! This is a pretty similar combo route to the last game, so instead of narrating it again, I'm going to tell you an embarrassing story. I was at an optometry event recently where I met up with one of my old attending doctors, and he asked me how I was doing, which was nice of him, so I tried to communicate that the more I learn, the more I feel like there's so much I still don't know, which would have been a great sentiment if that is what I said. But the words that actually came out of my mouth were, I feel like I know less now. To which, he responded with an awkward laugh and said, Well, that's not good. <laughs> ah. Then there was an awkward pause and the conversation pretty much ended right there. So I'll be thinking about that for the foreseeable future. Anyway, let's get back to the game. We have nothing left in hand this time, but we did manage to set up the time stop and our opponent plays. Wow, another sign at mining. Okay then, activate Durendal, destroy Time Stop, and end your turn? Sweet. Or it would be. You see, normally we would try to get into number 90 so it can search Galaxy Trance for the follow-up attack, but we don't actually have enough damage on board to win. Our only hope is that whatever is on top of our deck can secure the victory here. So, Heart of the Cards, what do you have for us this time? Wow, speaking of Galaxy Trance, that is one heck of a top deck. I guess we can just win the game then. Well, that is gonna do it. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I have this really fun idea I've been working on for when we hit 10,000 subscribers, so if you wanna see a silly strat featuring a certain dragon, you know what to do. On an unrelated note, you guys wouldn't happen to know how to search this thing, would you? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. You can talk all that you want hey, to, yell hey, and scream, hey, you okay, lost. it is my you turn. You lost the game.